Is your old devil tired of making traumatizing abominations? Can't draw because your monitor took a hit after you saw some unexpected post online. Well, do I have a thing for you. Introducing the Gallman BD1561. Introducing the Gallman BD1561. On, can you unlock the door? Introducing the Gullman Pit 1561. But you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrifice! <laughs> So anyways, this is the Gelman 1561, one of the newer models from the Gelman Pen Display line. It's a lovely graphics display that makes drawing much more efficient for me. It has a 1920 by 1080 resolution screen with a working space of 15.6 inches, can shortcut buttons for your multitasking needs, and a charger-free pen with 8,192 pressure levels. Yes, as you can see those 8,000 pressure levels are a big deal to me. I recently got this new tablet from the Gullman store on Amazon, but for those of you who don't use Amazon, you can also get one directly from the Gullman online store, the link will be in the description. So first thought, well I was pretty surprised with the packaging that came, if you were ever in need of a box, now you know where to get some with an additional tablet included, I'm joking, but they made sure to get this here in one piece. Second, the box came with a handle, and I just thought that was cute, helps with carrying it around. Inside the box is where the real magic happens. You have the Gullman tablet itself, a pen, the charger cables, a stand, an instruction booklet, and instruments to set up a stand. Of course I was expecting a pen holder with extra nibs, but it also came with a silk glove and a storage sleeve case for the tablet itself. Best of all when you peel the protective film off the tablet, it smells like blueberries, a peculiar detail, but hey I liked it. When you finish installing the driver, you are met with this home menu. Here you can change the pen, tablet, and express key settings. They actually give you a decent amount of options to assign the express keys with, which is pretty handy when I can't reach my keyboard. Now I can skip bed love whenever it plays from the depths of hell. Sell so my experience with drawing. It's pretty good, the strokes are smooth, the pen pressure is fine, and the shortcut buttons are super helpful. I rarely have to reach over for my keyboard when drawing at a more. The better to draw your favorite dummy mommy with. The colors match up closely to the desktop settings, though they can be configured in the menu during setup. You can change the brightness, backlight, gamma levels, RBG levels, sharpness, filter settings, and a plethora of settings to suit your user face needs. The tablet screen has a nice smooth finish, so your hand can glide effortlessly across the screen especially with a glove. The tablet has good synergy with Clip Studio Paint, the program I used to draw with, and it works just as well with Umbu Harmony, the program I used to animate with. If you noticed a suspicious increase in animation quality and upload speed lately, then you can thank Gallman for that. Be prepared to expect the unexpected soon. One thing I haven't gotten used to is the amount of wire cables that are plugged in, though this isn't unusual with most display tablets that use HDMI and USD cables. The cables are long, which is helpful if you want to move around your workspace, but it would be helpful for you to plan ahead and organize them better. You do have the option to use a USB-C cable as well. Some programs may not recognize the tablet immediately, but to easily fix that, all you have to do is run the Gullman driver as administrator. You can easily do that in the menu I showed previously, no biggie. After a few days of using this tablet, I adjusted to it fairly quickly. It became a part of my routine almost seamlessly. I can watch YouTube and draw with no delay. It also feels like my artwork is looking much closer to my traditional style as well. I almost forgot to mention, this tablet also works even if the display isn't on, so you can still draw without looking at the tablet itself. Overall, I'd say this was worth the cost if you were on a budget. 
The price of this is a lot better than the crazy prices some other companies are offering. Won't list any names, but yes, if you are interested I put the links in the description for you to check out. Thanks for watching, yeehaws.